nice to see you again. Hello everyone, how are you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. Hello, sweetheart, so can I? I'm here to do a quick, quick, I, su I, su I sure hope so to be quick, a quick and easy, oops, a quick and easy tutorial on how to bind your general pages, your book pages, whatever you wish to buy and bind together and um, make it uh, as a book or whatever you wish. It will be a quick, quick, quick way and uh, I will share some tips. So I have here something, this will be my cover. This actually will be just a simple notebook, just plain pages, nothing much, leftover pages that I um, have coffee dyed and uh, they are in those sides. I didn't cut the original pages. So imagine you print something like that, the leftover paper, if you want to play it for a bit to cover the page. You have some leftover pages, most of us has, and also I have some leftover images. And this will go to a female, a male, sorry, male. So that's why it has an end decoration. I just wanted something to be like a notebook and write, nothing much. So, first of all, let me say you, share with you uh, the first, um, how do we say, tip. So when we make junk journals and stuff like that, and when we try to bind them, if we have a different size of uh, pages, and we have a smaller page and a bigger page, and we have various sizes of pages, but even with plain pages, but if we have a different size of pages, it won't be easy to hold them all together like that, do this, and they stay together, and they stay in line. Plus, uh, when we put the clips, the pages actually move a bit from the center, you know, the folding center, this will move a bit if you clip them, if you will notice. Can you see it here? But when you clip them, now, here I have like that. When I clip them, can you see that they move a bit? So, one trick to avoid that and so the signature is always on the center and your thread is always on the center because that's all it again, see, if I, Let's place a clip. When I place it, okay, can you see it moves? So one trick, an easy, a quick, and a really very easy trick is to take your pages, take your glue stick. You don't have, want an expensive glue stick for this job, and uh, you need a simple glue stick. You, you don't care if it glue forever, and you don't need big amount of it. So we will take your glue stick, just put a, tiny amount of it, just, you know, one line. And then you will take your next page and place it where you want. Let's hold it correctly, let's find the page. So we'll take the next page, place it where I want. This will stick together. This, the corners will be always matching. That way the corners will always be matching, it will stay together. And I have it correctly balanced where I want it. So, I will do this for all the pages. That way, they will stay together. The glue, it's not too hard, so it won't, you won't have trouble, you know, uh, how to, stu to sew it together, how to make the stitching after. The glue will hold it, but it won't be too hard to stiff or anything else. And you will place them correctly in the center. And you have your corners, your edges right. And they won't move while you were stitching them. So should I do this? Um, just a quick one. I'll just find the knowing that the other one stays. I apologize for the dog, they're fighting. Just a quick one, you don't need a huge amount of it. And you just place your pages where exactly where you want them. I want them centered. 
just a small amount, quick and easy. And you always push a bit together so your corners will be matching. I should have done that before, I <laughs> just forgot, sorry. And I'm doing it just because all my pages are not the same size and because I want the pages to be centered. But if you want, you can put it high up, it depends on the size. For example, you can put it there, there, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. It's how, how you like it, you can do it however you like it in your ways. I'm just showing you how to make the corners always stay together here. So, you don't need a huge amount of glue. Come on, the glue will dry when I manage to touch the page. I'm just trying to make them in the center. That's it. just on the corner there. Okay. And you won't have any problem with the stitching because the glue is uh, not some hard glue. Oh, when you do videos, they always remember to bark. You know, people with dogs will get you. You don't need any hard glue. You won't have an issue because, I mean, the, the glue is too hard, too stiff. So let's, let's see. Okay, that was okay in the corner. I thought it wasn't. Opa, I placed the glue upside down. <laughs> Clever me. So I always put a semi corners are right. Just a tiny amount. You don't need much, just something to hold it temporary, temporary, you know, not permanent, <laughs> together. So you can do whatever you want to do, your stitching and stuff. And we are finishing here. I apologize for the delay. And I will show you the quickest and easiest way. I mean, when you see it, you will get, say, what? I'm trying to bind journals and books so long and I didn't know that. It will save your hands. It really will save you, especially for those who struggle with the needles and the threads and all that. It will really help you and uh, you will make your signatures like that I mean one ten of the time that you were doing them before so that's that just a couple oh these are together so we are done with these you can take a ruler and push it like that so you are sure and it's all together it's actually bind like this but it's not bind and you will you won't have any issue with uh, how you will um, bind how you will pass your needle later so all i did here i have this um, from a folder file folder and i cut it to be how tall I want it, and then I I, I I measure how I want the size and the excess. Instead of cutting the excess, I fold it and make a pocket. And what I did here, it's actually I took a piece of paper and make some folds and make it like a, to be you know more expandable accordion pocket. Can you see? So the pocket's more expandable, nothing much. So now what are we going to do? We have our signature, we have our 
we have our book cover. What are we going to do? We are going to find the center of it. So my center, uh, it's 60 centimeters, so my center is in eight. In inches is six and a half inches. So it's uh, three point something. So here, my center is, let's see, we are in Europe here, so we have centimeters, not inches. I just happen to have a ruler that has uh, uh, inches also. So you know, it's 50 centimeters, so it's seven and a half uh, the center of it. So my center is here, seven and a half. I just want my center so the book will be balanced, you know. It won't be higher or lower. So I just want my center, so my book will be balanced. So I have this uh, that I have from the packaging. I don't know what material is actually. It was protecting me packages. And I have this tool. This tool, I got it from AliExpress. This is actually a shoes, shoes, yes, a shoes binder. You know, they, they use it for a shoemaker, a shoemaker use it to shoe his shoes. Wow, <laughs> too many S. <laughs> you know, the, it comes from the past. It's, uh, they were using it to make shoes. Some, they still use it, some, of, uh, some people still use it for handmade shoes. And you can also use it for uh bind your book pages so what it has it has this storage here let me take it out you can remove here and here it has the spool spool of um, thread the thread it's uh, thick enough and um, waxed it's a very strong third thread thick and wax thread and it has the needle here it opens like this if you unscrew it let's remove it so you can see it the needle goes there it has a replaceable thread needle over here if you open it completely you can see the other thread needle the other needle isn't straight it has a, a a bit of curve so here you also pass your thread and then you you pass your thread and you will see that it's a small gap there so the thread will pass and also you put your needle all the way down like it goes you just tie it and it has a tiny 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 corner that it's cut so the th need uh, the thread will pass there and won't be you know tied with a needle so now it's squeezed enough and now you can see it here how the needle and the thread are done so i take this tool and i measure the length of my book whatever length of it of uh, we have plus i leave some um, excess so we will hang uh, underneath under there uh, so I can decorate with some bite um, beads or something whatever you just need some excess so that's enough the first thing I do I won't be stitching yet the first thing I do I will come and punch a hole in the center so first I will punch a hole in this center Usually I do this, I know it's most ri more risky. I do this. I punch, I know where my needle will pass and I hold the sides next to it. But if it's too risky for you, you just put it on the pillow or you know a phone book, whatever you have. And then I take my cover, I find which is the upside 
because I have some images in there. So this is the upside, the correct size. And this is also the front cover. So all my images, as you have looked before, are the, yeah, okay. They are on the correct side. And then I find also the middle here. And I just do that. The only reason I did that, I won't stitch it, this one, but I will take a pin and needle something. And I should have take a bigger one, but I don't find one now. Oh, you know what I can do? Here it's another trick we, we will learn. I will take one paper clip. You know, the classic paper clips we have. I will take one and just straighten it up a bit and pass it through here and through here. So that will keep my pages centered to the cover. That's the only reason I did that hole in the middle first. That's the only reason. We don't start stitching with the middle. We start stitching with the top or on the bottom if you want the threads to hang from the top and use them as a, um, a how do you say, a bookmark, you know. So this will hold center my pages. With this method, you can use uh, as many stitches as you wish. You can use five, four, six, 10, 11, 12, it doesn't matter. It have, doesn't have to be five, seven, nine, like the other methods. You can use whatever you want, even or not. Uh, so you can make as many stitches as you want with this method. And um, what else? Uh, if you see, I want, uh, I can do it, but uh, I wasn't supposed to measure. You can measure or you can eyeball. So let's see. Let's make a one stitch binding. Or let's make it more narrow so you can see. I will find. Um, okay. So. I will put it in uh, one. Opa. I will put in every half inch uh, the holes. So here I will put my holes in one and a half centimeter. It's, so it's half inch, almost half inch. So do I want another one here? Yep, why not? It's quick and easy, so you don't care if you make 1,000 holes. It really is so quick and easy that you will be amazed. And I usually don't make a mark point because I just eyeball it because it's easy. And as I told you again, it doesn't matter how many you put. So that's it. I won't use this anymore. So as I told you, we go and measure the length of our book plus a bit of axis. And what we go into do now, it's this is glue, so it won't move, we won't, we won't need any clips. So I will go here. This is my first hole. I will go on the top because they have, I want the threads to hang on the bottom. So I will go on the top, stay the corners. I haven't, if you see, I haven't uh, even uh, punched a hole or something. And I will just hold it and press. Can you see? The thread came, so I won't do anything else. Now, the first uh, stitch, you will do this. You will take your thread and come on, I need more thread. You will take your thread, the free part, and leave it here, hanging. That's the only thing you have to do. Now, uh, I will go to the next one. Just hold the thread so I won't lose them and have 
I free thread from the um, how do you say the tool? You can use it like that. You know, have your press against the soft object. Or what I, I told you that I'm doing is this. I just try to do this. I know where the needle will pass, so I won't put my hand on the needle and punch myself because it's dangerous, and I do this. So, now we start the stitching. How do we do that? While we put our, we pull our needle back, we will have a gap. So, while I will put my needle back in the center, I will have a, a gap here. Can you see? And I will pass the thread, this thread, through the club, through the, you know, the little opening. So, and then I will pull my uh, tool back. Can you see it? Then I will go to the next hole, fold my book nicely. And if you don't have a soft cover, one signature uh, book, you will use one of these because you can do it with many signatures. It doesn't have. So once again, I found the hole. I have a loop, and in this loop, I will take the needle, the thread, and pass it through the loop. Okay. Can you see? And before I pull my thread down, I have the other thread passing through the loop and it's like that and down again so we'll go to my next uh, point place it there the only reason i do this is so i will have the uh, needle pass through the center of the line so if you get you so i didn't put the I didn't do any marking, but if you won't have many signatures, so you have a wider spine, then you will have to mark it down so it will be even and straight, you know, the lines in the signature. But if you have only one signature, it's way more easy. So again, I pass the thread through the loop, take it back. Now we have the center one. So now we'll remove the, the paper clip I placed there as a security and we'll go to the center that was easy it was already punched and go through the loop pass my needle my thread there take it back and go to the next point find it center it the only thing I do is I twist it a bit so the point of the needle will pass more easily make a loop we see the loop here Take my thread, pass it through the loop, and move on. I will tie it later. I'm just showing you how to pass it through the loops. Here again, I'm just twisting it a bit so it will pass through the center of the spine. Okay, while I'm pulling it back, it creates a loop. And then in the loop, I'm passing my thread. And do you see how easy it is and how quick? And imagine that I'm explaining to you. If you do it and you practice a bit, it will be a piece of cake. You only have to be careful for the needle and your hands. Pass it the thread through the loop again. And did you see how many holes we have? I did this on purpose. So you can see how quick and easy it is and how clean and it has another way of stitching with this um, so that was the last loop <coughs> the last um, uh, hole so now what i will do is i won't leave this thread outside i will take it and pull it i'm just pulling some thread from here to leave my tool down i will pull my thread <coughs> and bring it inside the book so now let's put the tool so it won't make noise so now we have to do two things first of all we straight this thread we pull it and straighten and then i'm pulling it this thread 
So let's see. I could have done it before. Usually I do it while I stitch. Uh, I'm just trying, trying to find help. Okay, I need something because I don't have names. So. I'm just pulling the threads to straighten them. You can do it while you stitch, so you don't have to do it now. I just didn't do it. So we'll show you how you can fix that also. It's heavy, you say you, you did it by mistake, this one. And you can pull it while you fix. And I will show you how to fix it, sorry. So you can pull it and do it while you're stitching, so you ha don't have to pull it now. It's not one of the style of the types of signatures that you can do it while you're stitching it. It will hold. Plus the thread is waxed, so it stays. So I make it straight. It's really hot and stiff I the way I pull it. So this is the last of it. So here I will just go and tie it. Nothing much. Do it this way. So I will just do a dive and not here. I'm just doing it on the lower part. And your thread is back so it stays. I'm just doing a knot and I will cut the excess of it. So that was our way easy and way quick binding and you can cut the threads as long as you want or as short as you want so <coughs> that's my binding quick and easy with this beautiful tool this magical tool that i found by accident in aliexpress actually i found a video of a guy so uh, sewing sewing some leather and i say wow this will go work for binding it was a nice guy and i wish he was he was sewing leather and uh, making um, leather like uh, how do you say the ipad cases and I say, this will do. So this has also another way of doing your binding, your stitching. It's a little bit more complicated, but it has another way also. But you have a different decoration here. In the other way, you don't see a straight lines like here. You see loops that are going to each other, like a chain. In the other way, you'll see like a chain. But in this way, you see this one. It's this way, it's the quickest and easiest way. It's very easy and quick to do it. As you can see, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. You can do as many as you wish. And we do it in so, um, we did it very easily and quick. And um, so that was my binding with this beautiful tool. I will glue now this here. And we will be done. I will just glue this down. I won't do anything else as I told you. This is just a glue stick, even though I don't like it. This is a print one. The one I like and it's glue very nicely and it's very, it's better. It's this one. I don't know the name. Let's say glue, President. I like it best. And there is another one I like even more. They are just cheap glue sticks, nothing expensive and fancy. Uh, I don't have tacky glue and stuff, so I use this one. So let's place it on the edges also. I'm just doing this to have the glue on the edges. I'm just moving the image on the glue, not the glue on the image. And then I will place this on the center. So let's glue this down. Let's hope it's centered. Yep, it's centered.
And now if I want, I can go with uh, the wood glue I have, like it's Mod Podge, and cover it and make it more shiny and sturdy and it won't get uh, easily, you know, <coughs> it won't get dirty easily. You can wipe it with a, a piece of cloth. So that's my easy, easy notebook. It will be given just for notebook. You can put something there. And it's coffee dyed paper that was left over. And uh, the images are just um, ancient, uh, how do you say those? Uh, gosh, archaeological stuff. Gosh, I forgot the word. It's like uh, Parthenon and Theseon and uh, the Temple of uh, Zeus, stuff like that. And they are left over. And this is an architecture of uh, Cariatides. So it's just leftover pieces. Uh, this is not straight, I think so. Yep, I didn't do it straight, this one, can you see? From the Parthenon, just a notebook, just for something to write, to have on your table and write scraps, you know, nothing much. So, thank you for watching, thank you for stopping by. That was my quick, quick, quick and easy, easy, easy way with for binding your books and uh, just give it a try uh, i will try i don't know how it's called it's a leather sewing tool so i'll just look it up for uh, in aliexpress i won't put links because uh i won't promote any store Oh, you know what? I will put a link that has many of these for various stores, and you will go and have a look. Uh, what else? Uh, this is actually the, how do you say? In Greek, it's called the uh, Stills of Olympia Dios, of Olympi Zeus. So that was it. And this is uh, the ceremony for the Olympic uh, flame. So that was my quick and easy binding with tips for your spines. If you have any questions, just let me know. I just wanted to share, share this with you. Hugs and kisses. We will speak soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, thank you for your support. Bye-bye.